Hello Aries and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's tarot reading. So Aries, today I'll be doing a reading on what is it that you need to know. I feel like there is something, like especially for this week, I'm doing readings because I feel like there's something that you need to know. So literally anything can pop up. I'm going to let the tarot do the talking. So Aries, let's get started. What is it that you need to know, please? Thank you so much for joining me. For those who are new, my name is Gigi. Welcome. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe because every week you get to two readings. So let's have a look, Aries. What is it that you need to know, please? Let's get straight into this reading. Okay. For those also wishing to learn tarot, have a look and please visit fifigigitarot.com. We do have the ultimate masterclass to learn tarot. I promise to you, you will become a master and very knowledgeable with all the tarot cards. It is self-paced and all the workbooks can be downloaded onto your laptop or desktop. Okay, let's have a look. What does Aries need to know, please? This popped up. You are juggling something. This is the two of pentacles. This is the juggling act. But this is temporary though. Whatever it is that you're juggling at the moment, yes, we understand that you are doing your best, but it is just temporary. It will pass. At the moment, we do have the Nine of Cups. This is representing the current situation. This is an excellent card, Aries. Nine of Cups, raising your glass, being super excited about something. Now, remember, for some of you, not for everyone, this could be the announcement of pregnancy. Nine Cups, nine months. This is also the minor arcana of the star, wish fulfillment. So if wishes have been granted, beautiful. Not yet, though, for those who, who it hasn't happened yet, pause this video and make a wish with intention and see it in your mind's eyes, please. Super important. But this is all about celebrations, though. Um, it could be This could be something as a milestone, celebrating a milestone, maybe getting that email that you've been waiting on, for example. This is excellent. Now let's have a look at the challenge, please. We do have the eight of wands. So the challenge with the Eight of Wands, there could be some delayed news, perhaps. Delayed news coming your way, you're expecting them to come, but there may have been some delays. Not overly too, too big, though, from what I can see. But there also may have been messages of rejections, but you also got the message that you wanted with the Nine of Cups. But along the way, there may have been setbacks, rejections, um, news that you didn't want to hear. News that could have been upsetting. Also, let's look at the past. The past, we do have the Knight of Cups. I love this card. So the Knight of Cups, this is the slowest moving knight. Also, it's very tangible in the sense that it's something very real. It's something very that you can definitely rely on this knight. So I can definitely see in the past, there has been some form of offer, a transition, even a change. Something that's changed here recently in the past that's causing you with the Nine of Cups to celebrate, to raise your glass. Let's look at the foundation, please. What can you tell me from the foundation? We do have the devil here. Careful, Aries. You may be in a situation, you may be overthinking something, overanalyzing, not being able to sleep, overworking perhaps. There's something of too much here. And when the devil does show up in a reading of something of extreme, it, you've got to be careful because this can lead to a burnout. It can lead to high stress, high anxiety, and a burnout. That's, that's the last thing you want. Also, I feel like for some of you, you may be feeling, this is, again, it's not for everyone. Be careful. There may be someone holding you by the strings like a puppet. Like this person is controlling you. Yeah, I feel like there's some form of relationship here. There's someone in a relationship at the moment where it's like, I feel like this could, this could be a partner where they tell you to jump and you say how high. 
So I feel like this could be someone that could it's probably manipulative, controlling perhaps. Be careful with this person also, Aries. If this also resonates with you, do not let this person take complete control. No, you are your own person. Remember that. Let's have a look at your thoughts. Excellent. We do have temperance. Temperance is the opposite of the devil. Not many people know that, but it's the opposite. So with your thoughts, I like it. I'm like, I'm like seeing this. There's a good balance with your thoughts. In other words, you're not cluttered with negative thoughts. You're not um, thinking like feeling trapped or imprisoned. No, you have a very good balance at the moment with your thoughts. There's a time to self-love. There's a time to take care of yourself. This is all about self-care and self-love. Temperance is also the angel of love and devotion. You have a big devotion to yourself to take care of yourself. You have a, a priority when it comes to self-love here. I'm, I'm really like seeing that. Let's have a look at the near future. The chariot. Beautiful. This is like very, very fast energy. I love seeing the chariot. As you can see, the cats are pulling the owl here. This is excellent. There's going to be really good news coming your way. And you may be required, Aries, to jump on this chariot, get in, get in your car and travel somewhere. So there could be a means of traveling. It could be not necessarily overseas. It could be interstate. It could be somewhere you may need to catch a train or go in your car. But there's something amazing coming your way. I love seeing the chariot, to be honest. It's it's time to get excited. It's time to really... Now, it could be something... Let's have a look. It could be something that you're obsessing about and you're finally going to get on this chariot and go. But like I said before, just be careful of not overdoing something too much or not letting someone take control of you. Let's have a look at the self-perception. So we do have the King of Wands being represented as you, Aries. The King of Wands is someone that's very passionate. You are a fire sign, Aries. So you always had that that passion, that passion in life, that passion for work, romance, in all areas of your life. And it's all about taking action. I love seeing this card. You also have the Saddle Manda, Lizard here. So in other words, nothing can stop you, Aries, right here, this lizard right here. This lizard can walk through fire. There's nothing that can stop you in your life. You put your mind to it, Aries, and you can do literally anything. It's all about having that right perception about yourself. So for some of you, I have a question. Is there a particular thought that holds you back? Is there any particular thought that holds you back? Anything? Perhaps, oh, I'm not good enough for these. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Remember, all these thoughts are absolute lies. You can do literally anything. Take action and go for it. You have the right thoughts with temperance, absolutely. With the self-perception, you need to see yourself as that leader, as that person can that can do anything. If we look at the any external influences, the environment, we also have the queen of pentacles. So now we have people coming into your life. This person is of an earth sign. So Capricorn, um, Taurus, and Virgo. I feel like, yeah, there's going to be important people coming into your life. That's going to change now the environment, any external factors here. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, again, she could be married already with children, but this person means well, very generous. And she also takes um, action if, you, if she sees potential. She could also give you really good advice. So listen to this person. It's also right next to the chariot. Hmm. I feel like you're going to go on quite the adventure, Aries. If we look at your hopes and any fears, no. You've got a good head on your shoulders with the six of swords. So you're going to be moving away from troubling times or anything that's troubling in your life, and you're going into calmer waters. This is also a travel card. You may be traveling. Again, we have a travel card here, a travel card there. Mm -hmm, yep. There's some form of travel here, Aries, that you're going to be doing. Now, you're also going to be leaving behind 
the way you used to think, old thoughts, situation, even people that no longer serve you. You'll be moving away. However, you are taking the swords with you. The swords represents your wisdom, your perseverance, your experience, your knowledge. You're going to be taking a lot with you because you're a better person now, a different person as you were from a year ago. Now you're different. Your spirit team are also with you in this boat, always with you. Let's look at the outcome now. Outcome, we do have the seven of wands. So if we look at this owl at the moment, this owl is kind of like protecting. They're, they're protecting something against all these other owls. So you must remember Aries. When this card shows up, because you're making noise, like the chariot, like the six of swords, the king of wands, when you make noise, people pay attention. And sometimes people may try to challenge you or sometimes you may get um, even jealous people around you saying, oh, they might see you as an overnight success, but that they, they do not see the battles, the years, everything that you have worked for to get to this point. They do not see that. So sometimes you may face people that might even question you, question your success and say, oh, why do you deserve that, Aries? What you have to do, always protect your goals, your dreams, protect them at all costs, Aries. You deserve it because you worked so hard. If you need to put people in their place, do it. Because you're in a different situation here. You're in a different mindset with the seven of, the seven of wands. Sometimes we do need to put people in their place. Even though it may feel a little bit uncomfortable, we just need to. If anything, look, to be quite honest too, Aries, I feel like this is not going to affect you as much. If anything, you'll be like, oh, okay, is that what you think? Who cares? You're just going to be doing your own thing, which is great. I want you to do that. I want you just to just do your own thing. Keep following your heart's desires and go for it. Overall, though, Aries, you don't have a lot of challenging cards, to be honest. Obviously, yes, we do have the devil. Just watch your thoughts, watch your behavior, not to do something of too much. Now, I'm going to be taking out one card to clarify each card so we can even get more of an understanding of this reading, please. Let's have a look, Aries. What, is, what else do we need to know about this situation? What I'm actually seeing here overall with this reading is adventure. You're going to be going on some form of adventure. Definitely travel. Yeah. Let's look. Traveling to meet someone, traveling to go somewhere. It's definitely, you're going somewhere, definitely. That's going to be amazing. The Nine of Cups, that's been confirmed with, we do have the King of Swords. King of Swords. So the King of Swords, this person has given you good news. That's why you're celebrating the Nine of Cups. This person is an authority figure. This person may have their own business perhaps, but you've received really good news. This person may be of an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This person also may seem a little bit cold. As you can see, the snow in the background and in the foreground, the snow falling down. This person does mean well. You definitely want this person as an ally because all this person wants is results. That's all they want. Um, they may be like come across as a politician, a soldier perhaps, even a doctor, but they definitely mean well. So you're celebrating because this person, um, this person changed your life in the current situation with the Nine of Cups. Now, the Eight of Wands, we also have the Empress. Now, as I mentioned before, yes, there may have been challenging news from an Empress. 
the Empress. Now, this can be an idea, challenging news from ideas that you've presented, but maybe that were rejected. The Empress, remember, is all about uh, foundation. Perhaps it was a foundation that you thought was working, but it's not currently working at the moment here. So again, challenging news. It may have been from a divine feminine because the Empress shows that um, it's literally all the queens wrapped up in one. So there may have been uh, rejections from a couple of people, perhaps, or challenging news from a, several people, it may have been. However, though, if we look at the past, there we also have the hermit. So you've been by yourself in the past quite a lot. It's like the desert period. And the thing is with the hermit, a lot of people don't like seeing the hermit. I get that, but it is the moment of self-reflection. So I feel like some of you in the past have done a lot of self-reflection, really getting in touch with your wisdom, your knowledge, looking at the pros and the cons of your life too. It's all about self-evaluation, looking about what did work, what didn't work, what can I use from my past to help me in the present and into the future. But yes, even though you have been alone, you did receive some sort of offer here with the Knight of Pentacles, something an offer, a change, something that stirred butterflies in your stomach. There's passion here, definitely. If we look at the devil, we also have justice here. Be careful with certain contracts because the devil, again, there's a, I feel like there's going to be a contract here being represented. It may not seem what it seems to be, actually, with justice because I feel like with justice, Make sure you read the fine print because I feel like, you know, the last thing you want to do is sign a contract to the devil. This is what I'm picking up here. Be careful with any contracts that you are being represented. Look at the fine print. Get it reviewed by someone else. I feel like, yeah, definitely, because it's not all a loss. You can negotiate. Because justice is all about negotiating, having that balance. I don't feel like there is a balance here with this contract. So we need to negotiate. We need to use our voice and see, okay, let's let's try to work something out here, please. Uh, you also have the moon. This mm, I'm gonna I'm not feeling it here with this contract here. This contract is is not being completely honest. No. Because the moon, this is this, we are feeding our fears here. But I feel like you're listening to your intuition here. I feel like your intuition is go, even going to tell you that this doesn't feel right. And sometimes if your intuition is telling you that something doesn't feel right, well, you're absolutely correct, Aries. Yeah, before you sign anything, please get this reviewed, read everything, ask many questions. Do not be pressured to sign something quickly. If it doesn't feel right, no, because I feel like there's, there's something here that's just not right. And the last thing you want is to sign your soul to someone like the devil here. If we look at temperance, excellent, wheel of fortune. So things are definitely going to be start shifting here with your thoughts. Wheel of fortune, I, what I'm also picking up, there's going to be really good luck coming your way because the way you think, like, like attracts like. You're manifesting something here, Aries. You're manifesting a big shift here. You're using your power of manifestation here to attract the right people, situations and people here with the Wheel of Fortune. From being at the bottom, you're going to start being on top of the wheel now. Here is Anubis here. Anubis is rising. The snake is descending here. So thoughts, I'm loving it. The chariot. What is the chariot? Seven of Swords. We know that this is the card of lying, stealing, and cheating. We're not saying that because you have the chariot, yes, yeah, something amazing is coming towards you. But you, Aries, you're not going to tell anybody about this. You're going to keep very quiet. You're not going to talk about this to anybody because you want to see how things play out. You want to see for yourself, hmm, you know what? I'm going to do this. I want to see how things go, and then I'm going to tell people. I think it's good. It's a good strategy, what you're going to do here. With the King of Wands, the self-perception, yeah, Page of Wands, messages are coming your way. As you can see, the little birdie whispered in this person's ear. 
These are exciting messages. Wands are all about passion, things that you're very passionate about. So there's something that you're very passionate about here. But you're being also represented as the king of wands. Yes, there's definitely going to be messages coming your way. I feel like that's highly linked to also the chariot. So, but you're keeping, mm, you're keeping a low profile. You're not announcing everything just yet. With the queen of pentacles, you also have the nine of swords. Nine of swords. Aries. Remember, the nine of wands is a very mental card. You may be feeling... There may be overwhelming of emotions, like not being able to sleep at night, stressing, having high anxieties because of what if, what if, what if this happens? What if, what if, because of this queen of pentacles, you're worried, you're, 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 going, you're worried about this particular person. There's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. Just remember with the nine of um, swords, this is just a mental card. You're stressing about something that doesn't exist yet. Don't invade your own greatness. Okay, Aries, don't let your fears invade your greatness to stop you from moving forward because something wonderful is coming your way. With the Six of Swords, yeah, oh, wow. So we do have the Eight of swords, feeling imprisoned, confined, feeling that you're not going to move forward, feeling that this is it, this is my life, I can't do anything. First of all, pay attention to the imagery. This person can free themselves. They can remove the blindfold and none of the swords are touching this person. This is Gemini energy. You can definitely remove yourself from your fears. What's happening here? Your fears are keeping you idle. Your fears are invading your greatness. So we cannot let that. If anything, if you're feeling pain, anxiety, use your pain to push you to greatness. It's like, okay, I'm going to acknowledge this. I'm at this how I'm feeling at the moment. I'm not going to let it stop me because this is, the, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to pursue. You just got to do it with your eyes closed sometimes. If we look at the seven of wands, Four of Cups. So notice that this person, you know, they're, they're defending the dream, but they're being very cool, calm, and collected. They're showing like a face here saying, this is not affecting me. And there may be a moment where you might be even a little bit bored too, Aries, but then there will be an opportunity that's going to, that's going to be presented to you. So sometimes the universe is going to say, Aries, look behind you. There's an opportunity. Don't feel sorry for yourself. No, 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 no. You're on the right path. And then when you start to make noise, people are automatically jealous in the sense, oh, why does Aries deserve this? They don't see, that. people do not see what you have created, what you have been working on, that they just don't see that. You have to keep going. We also have death here. This is the end, the end of feeling bored, the end of feeling sorry for yourself, the end of fears, the, the end. What you, you Remember with death, when death comes around, Death doesn't care whose fault it is. Death is very impartial. The only thing that death wants you to do is to move on now, Aries. There's going to be the end of a cycle. So notice that death is above also the eight and the nine of swords. It's going to be the end of challenging beliefs, feelings. No, that's all going to end because now you are ready to step up. You are ready to move forward now, Aries. So overall, I do feel like um, this, this reading, Aries, there's going to be quite a change. I do want to bring up this again. Just be careful any contracts that do come your way. Do not be afraid to use your voice to negotiate, to really speak exactly what it is that you want in this contract. Because you definitely can negotiate. Because at this moment, it doesn't feel right with the moon. Because I feel like this contract is not going to benefit you at all. It's going to benefit the other person if anything, not you. So we need to negotiate. Be careful with your fears stopping you because they are just lies. Behind every negative fear, there is a lie. There definitely is going to be an end of a cycle and you will be making noise in the outcome with the seven of wands. But just remember though, you are definitely going to be moving forward. You are progressing because you also have the chariot. I think it's a fantastic idea to also keep your mouth closed just see how things play out first. 
It's like you're better to have it first and then announce it. So accomplish the goal and then tell everyone, hey, by the way, I have this. You are on the right track, Aries. You're definitely on the right track. Just keep pushing forward. Keep moving forward here because I feel like this year is going to be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Aries, for joining me. Have an amazing day.